am Caden Johnson, I one from Drawing Up Garage, and today behind me I have my RC car that we're gonna fix. Yes, today we're gonna fix this thing. My sister crashed into a trash can, and that was just crazy. And it um, causes the kid to break and the spindle. And we got our spindle right here. We got tools. We got our mini Allen key and mini wrench wait yeah and a mini socket wrench and i also want to thank harrison from hobby and el cajon for hooking me up with these spindles so that i can fix my rc car he's hooked me up a lot like fixing it when it went uh -huh. but right now let's fix this thing up and also i have austin the filmer austin filmer who's been in some of our podcasts up in the attic behind us um, we got Austin's gonna be helping and put this together because I don't know. This is nonsense. I don't want to do all this stuff to it and be like, oh, how do we do this? How do we do that? So yeah, Austin and us are gonna let's start putting this thing together. So guys, before we do all this craziness, I need to take my uh, socket wrench, take mini socket wrench, actually super small, and take off. And make sure you guys you have a bucket or something or like a little tin plastic wrench up there to always put your little nuts and bolts in so that you don't lose it. So always put your hardware in there. Pull off a wheel. Nice. Now we can put this wheel in you guys. So you can get it okay. Now let's see what else we got. So guys, I'm gonna have Austin help me right now. Because these tiny parts are gonna be hard to take off with this little teeny stuff. So first, we wanna take off the spindle that's already broken. So we're gonna need to use your mini, the mini Allen key, and the mini wrench, all right? So here. Then we're gonna loose, loosen it, lefty loosey. So right now, guys, we're gonna put the hardware in. So let's put that in the cup. And also, we're gonna put the old uh, spindle in the cup. Okay. And now we're gonna pull off the uh, old parts and put on the new ones. Okay. So now we're gonna use the mini Allen and the mini wrench to take off the broken pieces. You guys want to remember, make sure you put all your hardware back somewhere where you can make sure that you won't lose them. There we go. Broken piece, completely off now. And we have our extra hardware, make sure you put it back in the bin where we won't lose it. So guys, we took off all the old parts. Now we gotta put on the new parts. But I have to have Austin help me a lot because Bolts are super tiny that we took off like that. Super tiny. So I have to have Austin help me a lot. But let's put all of the new parts on. So now what we have to do is we have to pull off the hub from the spindle and then take off the bearing that's in there and put it in the new spindle that we have right here. Pull it off. Okay. Save that back there. You pull this piece out. Okay. So we're going to use that in a second. Okay. Then we want to pull off these bearings. We'll use a tiny flathead, baby flathead. I thought this would be an easy. Angle. Yeah. Yeah. Get an angle. Get it to pop out. Like, I don't want to come out. we got one popped out. Okay. Oh. There's one. Right there. Pop so there's going to be two bearings. We have one bearing right here. Okay. So we're going to use this. Again, push it in, pop out the second one. Okay, now we're gonna take yeah. our new spindle. Our new spindle. And put the two bits. Yeah, we 
want to make sure it's the right side spindle. So this is the right side. Now, put the bearings in, the new spindle. Like that. Bearing in, bearing in this side. Okay. Push kind of hard. Like you're there you go. So now you have the spindle with the bearings. Okay. So now we're going to bring our bolt through like this. Okay. Then we get our hub. Okay. Put that back on. This back on. But if you look, there's a little hole really close to show the camera. So if you look closely, there's a little tiny hole right there. You want to get the tiny little, tiny little rod into that hole so it stops the bolt from falling out of the, falling out of the spindle. And you push it, push the, the hub down. If you push hard enough, you'll hear a snap and then it's shut closed again. Now. We have the spindle ready to go. Fresh new spindle. So this is the piece that's broken. Yeah, this is what it used to be. Okay, so as you see, right here, this was the old broken piece, and this is the new piece. So you can tell there's a big difference. <laughs> there's a big broken difference. Yeah, big broken difference. So now we gotta install this which will connect to the spindle okay. and connect to these and then you'll be ready to drive again. Okay. So now, we have this tiny piece okay. right here and it's going to go into the A-arm okay. straight through this piece. It's going to go in like that. And you got to line the hole just right so you can fit this bolt right through. Is it fit? It fits. Now we just got to tighten the bolt. Now, we have our bolt right here, okay. going through the A-arm, okay. into this piece. So we need to tighten it now, so then it holds it tight. Okay. We're going to have to use the mini Allen key for that one. Let's try this now, guys. Try it now, lost out, Austin. But maybe it is too small. Oh. Tight, huh? I think, guys, I would need Austin's help, but let's not see kittens try to do this. Doing it. Oh, and it flies off. Okay, so now that Caden got this piece on connected, okay. we gotta use one of these pieces right here, and we're gonna connect it into that part just like that. But first, before you put this this piece on, you gotta put the spindle in. Back. This will make sure that the spindle stays connected to this piece so you can steer. Yeah, you need to steer. See what that does? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't steer, you can't just go straight. Yeah. And it doesn't steer, you're like, oh no. I'm if you can't really steer, you're going to crash it again, and then you're going to break it. <laughs> to break the same piece. And then you're like, no. Yep. So, guys, you always need to make sure you can steer. Now we have the spindle connected, as you see, connected to this piece. Now this piece can steer the car. Now all, all we have left. Now we just gotta put this other connect these these suspension pieces to it, and we'll be ready. And remember, guys, never touch. It's harder than it. All right. So now that we have this on, the last piece to do is gonna be this piece right here. So now we just gotta connect this piece to the spindle and then we just gotta put on the wheel and then we're ready to drive it. Hold it on tight. Dang it, this thing is cool. So guys we got all the parts on now we just gotta put on this tire and wheel. So I got my mini bolt. Can't move these guys. Super tight. Try carefully put that thing in. But odd. Finally dry. 
long thing. So guys, now I'm gonna put in the battery for my RC car. Totally driving. So guys, we're going to drive inside a little for a little bit, maybe do some donuts or something. But also, you guys have to remember, we need to go to Harrison to get my clip for my awesome body over here. Look at that. I got a brand new one a couple weeks ago, months ago. So yeah, let's do some donuts. enough done so now we don't want to waste that battery now let's go to Harrison's so guys we are at El Cajon Hobbies right behind me they sell all the RC cars and we're gonna come here and get my clips as I was talking about after we fixed all that nonsense and I drove it but let's go inside and meet Harrison and maybe ask him if I can try my uh, if I can try a drift car on the drift course and my trophy truck so let's go inside awesome. so guys we are inside El Cajon Hobbies and this is Harrison right what's here. going on guys so my name is Harrison I've owned this hobby shop for the past four years I used to work for Jeremy at Well Tech Designs for a year I've known these guys for about five years now and uh, helping Katie in any way he needs for his RC cars and basically we uh, primarily do RC cars here, uh, a little bit of planes and drones and stuff like that. We're rated number one in San Diego and uh, time for fun. Good year to have a good time and get outside and this is a great hobby for it. Let's, I want to go show you guys the awesome RC cars. First I want to go to the big truck set. So guys, this is a huge trophy truck. That's very cool, and it even if you look close, see there's a driver inside it. And this thing is bigger than my usual one. It doesn't look like it, but this thing is huge. It's probably bigger than, I don't know, but it's pretty big. <laughs> These things are awesome. And we got the Jeep truck over here with no tires. But, but these things are really cool, and then it goes to four runners. These things are really cool. Here's one truck I really love. And then we got these Ultra 4 trucks. Really cool. I like the cage wagon. I can see all this stuff. And then we got these cool, like, I've got kind of one of these, one of these, but um, it's like the same size, just smaller wheels. And that one also broke, so. You don't see that one, no. And then we got this awesome rally car. That's really cool with the off-road tires. And then we go, and I love the paint on that 46 and just, I just love it. And then we got a Ford Raptor. This thing is cool with a fox on the side. I swear I've seen this before, the mint yeah. in Fox's booth. And then let's go to this awesome monster truck like that other one over there, but bigger body smaller wheels and we got the same thing that was over there I, I, I love the blue and the green and like the mm -hmm. light blue and then we got a oh it's like a desert tires and we got a trivia truck oh that is cool it's a, a drag strip car with these the nice wheelie thingy thing roll off I don't know what it's called, and I, I like that. It's a Mustang, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? It's not it's so rude. <laughs> it's just funny, dude. And I think that's it of the whole row of cars. And this is the drift course. We'll be drifting 
my big RC car. Look at oh, this. you're gonna trick your big RC car on that? <laughs> yeah. I wanna try to. I think it's gonna fit. You have to ask Harrison. I wanna try to do that. You should have Harrison do it because he could probably drive it really well. This is his shop. And I also wanna try and drive a drift car too around this. That's one thing I wanna do. That's the thing I want to because. Like, mostly when I'm at the shop, there's all cement. There's no dirt, dirt, dirt. But I like at the desert I can drive that thing because at the desert there's tons of sand, jumps and everything. So I want to show you guys the drift course and then this other course over here. But this thing is cool. It changed, actually. The last time, it was, it was different, way different. And then we got come over here. We got the crazy, what you call it, rock climbing thingy. That's something I'll probably try to do, but it probably won't work. Because this rocks, rocks, rocks. You come look at these tires. Man, but the speed, yeah, in pretty good, but we might try that in the drift course with this thing. <laughs> but first, let's get our clips. Where's our clips? I got your clips. <laughs> well, there's like everything on this wall. Here's your clips. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that, guys. We got our clips. Okay, let's do the thing I really wanted to do. Yay. And guys, if you look up, look at these things. They're airplanes. That's cool. It was funny. I have an elf pit, and I tried making a little hollow jet and tried... <laughs> Let's see if Harrison knows how to do it better. Can you try this? Let's see. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> Let's see. Whoa! Well, I guess we'll try, try the car. <laughs> I don't think that. Let's just that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, I might. I may be driving the same. A drift car, the same one that Austin had. Super excited, that would be super cool. So I'm excited to do that. And the truck, no, that looks just next. What it drift, Harrison tried it, did pretty good, but it's too big. Not, I don't know why I wouldn't do it. I thought it would. I wasn't giving up, but I'm gonna drive this drift car now. Let's, let's do it. Okay, let's try this. He's gonna show you how to do it. You want one now? Yeah. <laughs> And I got my new clips, and now I can go drive my RC car. But it's big thank you to Harrison, too. And I can drive my RC car finally with his body because I've lost my clips. Okay? And luckily, I have new ones. Thank you to Harrison. So let's go back to the shop. So, guys, we're back at the shop. I got the RC car right here. My awesome jump that Austin made right there filming. But this is it this, for this video. I want to hit the jump. I want to show you what this thing can do and then we're going to end this video so yeah this is ending for this video subscribe hit that like button turn on notifications give us a huge thumbs up and let's drive this thing around okay.
gonna jump over Austin with the RC car. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no.